Hi and welcome to another HTML tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a survey using HTML um, and uh, there is a submit button at the end of this survey and you can submit it but the information is not going anywhere because uh, when we want to um, store the information or make changes to the information or be responsive to the uh, input that the user give us we need to use JavaScript and I'm going to cover that in another um, tutorial but for now I'm just going to show you how you can make um, how you can ask the user to uh, input whatever information that you want and then um, press the submit button just to see how um, uh, it will look on the client site uh, so let's get started Uh, first thing to do, uh, we want to use XHTML. Uh, so we have to write this as a doc type. I'm going to paste this in the description box so you will have access to it if you want to start your own HTML, XHTML. Next step is to um, start our HTML. So we start with the HTML tag and close it inside of your HTML tag we have two main tags which is head and the body we're not going to use head that much um, for example if you have a small code of JavaScript or CSS or things like it like that you can put it in the head but whatever you want to appear on the screen you will just put it on this um, in the body so then the body tag and close the body tag okay inside of the body I just want to put a header saying that um, this page is a survey and I want this to be appear in the center of the screen so I'm going to put center around it so uh, our survey uh, that we type is here um, another thing I want it to be the same color uh, as my uh, previous page uh, if you have a website that you have a couple of web pages and you want all of them to be the same color, you can easily um, make another another page and uh, call it CSS. Um, in CSS, you can uh, put all of the background color, font, and everything that you want, and, and then it will um, it will apply that rule to all of the pages that you have. But right now, because we haven't started the CSS tutorial, we're just gonna uh, put the color of it in the body uh, so um, but later on I will show to how to put it in CSS as well the color that I used for my previous page is this color uh, and in case if you want to know how, how does this work um, you can just go to the previous um, tutorial and, and I will put the link inside of the um, description box as well and you can go and check how you can use different colors with hex code or you can either just write the name of the code inside of the uh, BG color. Since I want each one of these appear on the separate line I have to use brick because um, um, this uh, sublime text or HTML code are not sensitive to um, space as are, are not is sensitive to blank lines so you have to actually write that you want a blank line and you want it to um, go to the separate line and uh, how you do that is brick is br so now whatever we write here is going to be on the next line you started by writing form Again, I want everything inside of my form to be in center, so I'm going to put another tag around my form, which is called center, and then everything in my form is going to be in the center. Uh, 
So first to distinguish each person from the other person, I want um, each one of the person that is taking the survey to write down their name. So I'm going to put enter your name, two dots. Then you have to specify uh, that you want it to be an input. And then you want to say what type of input it is. Um, here is going to be text. And then uh, you want to specify a name for it. And then um, we can give it a value if you want as well. Uh, the value is going to um, print uh, everything inside of the box. For example, it means that there is a default value inside of your box. It is not empty. Uh, so I wanted to um, show name inside of my box. I'm just going to close it and then save it and run it. Uh, so this is our box and it says inside of it says name so you can just delete that one and put your own name in there. Next thing that we want to do um, is we want to ask our user to um, enter their sex. Um, we don't need instruction anymore. So for this one, um, I can use radio buttons. Um, so you can either say if you're a female, two dots. This one is going to be input as well. Type of it is going to be radio, since we said we wanted a radio button. And there is something special about the radio buttons. That means that you can only use one. You can't use both of them. You can use female and male together. And uh, we can specify another radio button, which is going to be other and I'm going to put them under the same name so um, they're going to be in the same group the name of it is going to be sex and we don't need the value save um, another one mail Again, input, and then type of it is going to be radio, name is sex, and then other input, type of it is radio, and then name is sex. Save it. Run it again. Oh, uh, so right now everything is on the same line, but I don't want that. I want female, male, and other to come on the next line. Um, so what I do is I will put brick here after enter your name can go on the next line and write br just one one break between it save it run it again um, they're still very close together so I'm gonna put another brick in between them too now it looks better I'm gonna put another break because I don't want it to be on the same line again So now we got the name and the sex of our user. Another one that I want to get is age. So I'm going to say age. This one is going to be input, but I want I don't want to put so many radio uh, button on top of the screen. So what I want to do here, I want to put a drop down menu. So it's going to take a smaller part. Um, <clears throat> You put age and then you start with select and close the select. So this is how you make a, um, a drop down menu. 
I want to give it a name so the name is going to be age so after that when you uh, make this select uh, which is uh, your drop down menu then you want to enter your options so you will put option and close the option um, so this this is each, each one of the ones that you want to put you will just put option open uh, on option tag and close it so since I want to give 12 option to the user uh, I'm going to copy paste option 12 times here so it's under 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, 21 to 25, and so on. Later on, we have to add the values and things like that to this as well. But for now, this is okay. Since we just want to display it on the screen. And then later on, when we are doing JavaScript, we're going to uh, fix, fix everything that we need to um, add the JavaScript and anything else to it. So save it. run this again and now the drop down menu for age um, appeared so then we can choose any of these that we want and um, let's check the radio as well we forgot to check that you can either choose female male or other so now that we finish our drop down box um, we're just going to put some other brick because we want to make sure that it's going on the um, next line. I want to put three bricks because right now I'm done with getting information from the user and I want to start, start the survey which is going to be two questions. So for the choices, I'm just going to choose the number of the pictures, which is number 1, number 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so the first one is going to be number 1. First one is number 1. And then we're going to specify that it is an input. And then we're going to say what type it is. Uh, so the type of it is going to be um, a checkbox and copy and paste this five times and then we can change it to the number later on again there is value and name that we want we have to uh, add to this but we're gonna add it later for now we're just gonna see how does it look like on the screen when you're making a survey and how to make that appear on the screen actually let's just put one of them right here so we will know how does it look like. So one of the things that you want to give them is name and all of them have to have the same name. I'm just going to use fave for here as in standing for favorite and then um, you can choose value for it as well so you will know what value you're going to save uh, for this name if somebody choose number one so I'm just going to say number one is the value and, and you can you can copy paste this for all of the other ones as well so you will have the name of it which is going to be the same but you have to change the number of it too for example number one number two and like that then this value is going to be number two this one is number three this one is four and this one is five and then save it um so but the name that is fave it's going to be the same for all of them so now i'm going to save this and i'm going to run it again to see how does it look like okay so the best thing to do is to put the instruction on another line um so they it, it would look more neat and more organized
So we're going to put one brick before that and then save it. So this is better. Uh, another thing that I want to add to this is just to put a description box uh, for a comment in case somebody want to um, have any comment or um, anything that they want to say they can put it in that box. Uh, so I'm going to put another brick to make sure they're not going to be on the same line and then I'm going to start with the instruction. Um, please write your comment about the website below. So for that you can just put text area, close it, this is a tag, and then uh, close it. So in the opening, if you save it, you will just uh, see a text area which is a default one. Okay, and we need a brick as well. Another BR here. So in the text area, sometimes you want it to be bigger. You don't want it to be um, as small as this one. Oh, I forgot to save it. So you want this to be a little bit bigger, you don't want it to be as small as that. Uh, so what we can do is we can add row and column to it. So I'm just going to make it uh, 20, save. Wow, it's huge. Um, so yeah. Uh, after you change it to the rows, I'm just going to put um, probably 15. And save it 15 and 80. Um, I think this is good. You have to be able to submit it. So you put input, and then type of it is going to be submit, which is going to be a button, or you can write it as a button. And then you want to put a value on it. Value means it will write what it is on top of it. So value is going to be submit. So that's it. That's how we do, um, how we make the front page of a survey. Um, right now if we enter the information it's not going to go anywhere but later on in the future um, tutorials I'm going to show you how to do that for now. Just um, and make the survey. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.